Hey, Mr. Frank. I want to thank you so much for the opportunity to come out to your mother-in-law's beautiful home here. I just want to carry you up on the roof real quick and uh, just point a couple things out to you. First thing I noticed was that this starter course of shingles, as you can see here, um, whatever this it appears to be maybe a backward shingle, which there's much better approaches now. Um, so this was the starter course, but you can see that it has slidden down and your first shingle isn't even adhered to it. So nothing's stopping wind from getting under these and, and ripping them up. Um, and this side I've noticed on the roof, well, there's actually a nail pop right there. You can see that nail's backing out. Um, so this is going to face west. This is going to get the afternoon uh, stronger UV rays. And you can tell that when you look at either plane of roof, this side versus the other side, the back side, that this is where I'm seeing more of the curling that was pointed out. And you can see that it appears as though maybe these shingles, you can see this dark line right here, appears as though maybe that shingle has slid down or was just not installed properly. Um, oh wow, and there you can see another nail popping out right there. Hopefully you can see that. Um, but yeah, this is the side that I'm seeing most of the curling on. And uh, so here's a good example right here. You can see where this is lipped up and there's actually no adhesion on it whatsoever. This is adhered a little bit, but it's only gonna be a matter of time. That whole section's shifting. It's only gonna be a matter of time, especially facing the afternoon sun that you lose adhesion on these and wind will absolutely get under here and rip it right off. Um, there's a little bit here as well. And it looks like we got another nail backing out here. Yep, so you can see that shingle nail is backing out hopefully you can see that it's raised up a good oh, half inch or so um, so it's only going to be a matter of time at this rate these shingles being only 10 years old that you're gonna you're gonna start missing tabs pretty quick with uh, the loss of adhesion and then wind getting underneath them and ripping them right off. The other thing I wanted to point out to you that I happened to notice, and another dark line here, I don't know if those shingles are sliding or the guys just got off of their line when they were installing. Um, and that's like that in several places. See right there, right there. But another thing I noticed while I was up here and I wanted to bring to your attention was this counter flashing has come away from the brick and there's no longer a seal there with the um, caulk that they used. So water can be getting behind that. So that would need to be addressed as well, which we would reflash anyway. But um, other than that, I mean, this side is also starting to show. You can see there that it's losing adhesion. I mean, only half of that tab is adhered good. Um, so I believe this is going to be what the uh, insurance really wanted to uh, bring to your attention was the fact that these shingles are beginning to curl and they are beginning to lose adhesion. And it's only gonna be, there's another nail pot. There's one, two, several nail pops throughout. Shingles have very much lost adhesion and beginning to curl. And in a matter of time, will be broken off with any good amount of wind getting under them. Thank you so much for the opportunity to come out and I hope this video was helpful.